I'm Sarah Pusti, author of the article, What Do You See? Uh, reading Wordless Picture Books with Children. In my article, I spoke with Selena Rook and Colleen Irwin, the founders of Association Peekaboo, about uh, the trainings that they develop for professionals around demystifying wordless books. And I also had the pleasure to speak with Selena in person and we created a short video for you sharing a few tips um, about how to enter and read a wordless picture book by looking at um, Susie Lee's mirror. I hope you enjoy. I think um, something that we've talked about is the misconception that wordless books are completely wordless. Yeah. Um, just by taking time to look at the cover, we see right away that there are in fact words, right? So taking the time to start a wordless picture book the way you might start any other book by naming the title, Mirror, yeah, and naming the author, Susie Lee. So for me as, a, as an art therapist and a museum educator, what close looking means is really just holding space mm. and asking, so what do you see? That pause after asking the question can feel like mm. no one's going to say anything. If everyone's silent, it's kind of incredible. It means there's a lot of thinking going on. Audiences and specifically kids need that time to ask themselves the question, yeah. what do you see? What do I see? And look and then choose something that they might want to share. Yeah. It, that whole process yeah. um, needs space. If you're going to ask, what do you see? It's also embracing that there could be any response yeah. and you're not asking that question looking for a specific answer you're really asking that question yeah. to make it an open reading when you're working with wordless books like a page turn yeah how how do you know when to turn a page yeah you can sense by looking at the group their level of interest. You can see if there's one kid who's starting to squirm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or you can see if they're all really fixed on that picture, um, you might draw it out and create suspense mm -hmm. and hold that moment. Each time you turn the page, it is an event. In a way, playing with the turning of the pages becomes the script. You can also invite the audience members to move and do what they see and have a, a kind of a, a break in the reading where they become active mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. i think that that can also be you know like a micro event mm -hmm. in terms of that fear of things getting out of control it's like to remember that turning the page or closing the book for a second is often all you need to just reset all things. Wordless picture books really invite the viewer and the reader into the world of the characters. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it's that's such a exercise in building empathy. Mm -hmm. The idea of looking and trying to attend to what the figure on the page might be feeling mm -hmm. and then trying to also feel it um, yeah. through moving your body. Sometimes, with the kind of anxiety that people might have reading a wordless book, you might forget to breathe. And I do think it, it's important to connect with your breath and um, simply breathe while you're turning the pages and reading the book because then the viewers will breathe along with you. Yeah. It's something very simple, but um, <laughs> it's important. Mm -hmm.